In this video, we're going to learn how the memory unit works as part of the von Neumann architecture, along with references to how the registers in the memory unit are used. Before we start, let's make sure we understand these key terms. First, a partition is just another word for a section or an area. The address is the location and the contents is the actual data. So to put that together, the content is the data. We store this data in a partition and we can identify the partition by its unique address. In a previous video, you would have seen this diagram. We will focus on different parts of this in this lesson. To start off, let's focus on just the memory unit. The memory unit is made up of a number of partitions. Remember what this word means? Sections. And each partition has its own address as well as its own contents. Here you can see an example of this. Normally the contents is a lot larger than this of course. The address is used to uniquely identify each of the partitions and the contents will always be stored as binary values in each of these partitions. In the previous video, we made brief mention of some registers. You can see some of them in the diagram uh, I just showed you. Don't worry just yet what exactly each of them do, but here's what they stand for. MAR is Memory Address Register. MDR is Memory Data Register. ALU is Arithmetic and Logic Unit. PC is Program Counter. And CIR is Current Instruction Register. In this video, we're only going to focus on the Memory Address Register and the memory data register. That's the MAR and the MDR. The memory address register is used to store the addresses in memory for the data. The memory data register, as you can probably guess, is used to store the data itself. But how do they work together? Simple. To explain, I'm going to make mention of the two most common instructions in a computer read and write. First, you should know read is simply finding or displaying data and write is to create or add data. Alright, here we have our memory unit. You can see the address and the contents above. I've kept some of the contents blank for our example I'm going to do later on. Here's our MAR, memory address register. And here's the MDR, Memory Data Register. Our first command will be to read. In order to read data, we need to enter the location in the MAR. So I'm going to enter the location 11110001. So that gets put in the MAR. A read signal is then sent to memory through a control bus to tell memory to read what is in the location I entered into the MAR. The location will be read and the contents will be entered into the MDR. This can now be used for whatever the next instruction wants to use it for. Now, let's look at the write function. First, we'll enter the value we want to write. In this case, I want to write the value 10010101. So I'm going to put that in the MDR, like just done. We then need to specify which location the data needs to be stored in. I'm going to choose the location 11111101. So that's going to be entered into the MAR. Finally, a write signal is sent to the memory unit using the control bus, which will take the data into memory. And that's everything you need to know about the memory unit.